Hi guys, welcome back to another video. A today's question on Aris topic is element with left side smaller and right side greater. The question states that given an unsorted array of size n, find the first element in array such that all the elements to its left side are smaller than it and all the elements to its right side are greater than it. The left and right side elements can be equal to the required element but the extreme elements cannot be the required element. Let's consider the examples in test case 1. We have four elements namely 4, 2, 5, 7 out of which we have 5 as the required element since 4 and 2 are less than 5 and 7 is greater than 5. Similarly in case of example 2 we have three elements namely 11, 9 and 12 and we don't have any element as a required element so the output here is minus 1 and in test case 3 we have 4, 3, 2, 7, 8, 9 out of which 7 is the element such that the left of its uh, elements are smaller and the right elements are greater. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem. Let's consider the same example as given in the question where the size of the array is 6 and the array elements are 4, 3, 2, 7, 8, 9. Let's create two more arrays namely max and min and declare few variables namely ELE, big and small. We initialize ELE to minus 1, big to the first element and small to the last. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm where we have three for loops and the fir first for loop runs from i is equal to 0 to n that is from start to the end of the array and at each traversal we check whether if a of i is greater than big. Since 4 is not greater than 4 therefore we insert the value of big into max of i. Similarly we check for 3 whether if 3 is greater than 4 since it is not therefore we just enter the value of big into max of i. Similarly for 2 and then we have 7 greater than 4 therefore we update the value of big as 7 and then insert the value 7 into max of i or max of 3. Again we check whether if 8 is greater than 7 yes it is and therefore we update the value of big as 8 and insert the value 8 into max of 4 and similarly for i is equal to 5 we update the value of big as 9 and insert it into max of i. So we have a max array as 444789. And then we run the second for loop from the end to the start of the array that is from i is equal to n minus 1 to i is greater than or equal to 0. And at each traversal again we check whether if a of i is less than small and we update the value of small and then insert the value of small into min of i. So min of 5 is 9, min of 4 is 8, min of 3 is 7. Similarly we have min of 2 as 2 and min of 1 as 2 as well as min of 0 as 2. So we have a min array as 2, 2, 2, 7, 8, 9. And finally we run a final and last for loop which is from i is equal to 0 to n and at each traversal we check whether if i is not the extreme value. Since i is equal to 0 therefore we increment i and again we check whether if i is not equal to 0 as well as i is not equal to n minus 1. Since i points to 1 therefore this condition is true and we check whether if min of i is equal to max of i. Since 4 is not equal to 2 therefore we just increment i. And again we check whether if i is not extreme value as well as we check whether if min of i is equal to max of i. Since again 2 is not equal to 4 therefore we increment i. Again we check whether if min of i is equal to max of i. And in this case we have 7 is equal to 7. Therefore we update the value of ELE as min of i which is 7 and then break out of the loop. And finally we print the ELE value which is 7. So now let's begin with the actual code. As we have seen in the explanation part, we have created two arrays namely min and max of size n. We have also declared a few variables namely ELE, big and small. Then we run a for loop from i is equal to 0 to n and we check whether if a of i is greater than big. And if so, we update the value of big as a of i. And then we insert the value of big into max of i. So this for loop is for the array max of max. Therefore 
we run another for loop from i is equal to n minus 1 to i is greater than or equal to 0 and here we check whether if a of i is less than small and if a of i is less than small then we update the value of small as a of i and then we insert the value small into min of i and finally we have another for loop from i is equal to 0 to n where we check whether if i is not the extreme value as well as min of i is equal to max of i so first we check whether if i is not equal to 0 as well as i is not equal to n minus 1 and then we check whether if min of i is equal to max of i and if this condition is true then we update the value of ELE as either min of i or max of i since both the values are equal and then we break out of the loop and finally we print the value of ELE that's it we are done with our code and we can compile it now the code is compiled so we can submit it and a code is submitted successfully if you found the video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparations thank you